everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Danielle and today we're going to be talking about trying to get focused. Now, if you haven't seen my video from last week, I filmed a video on how to be productive and this is going to help you guys a lot um, with just actually getting into that mode to even sit down and start to focus on anything. Um, this is going to be my tips on how, when I'm actually sitting down, how to actually get focused and get things done when I want to get a task done, whether it be work, whether it be a cleaning project, anything like that. So I'm somebody that has a lot of trouble focusing a lot of the time I find it very very hard to focus and so these are some of my tips on how I find that I can get myself into that focused mindset so before we even are able to focus we obviously have to figure out okay what is the task that we want to get done is it a cleaning project is it a work project is it just work in general like you're working online right now are you starting a youtube channel do you need to figure out ideas for videos are you starting a podcast all of these different things that you like if you're starting a new big task if you're working on something at work um for me that I can relate with is YouTube videos. So, okay, what is my next YouTube video that's going up? What do I need to do um, for that? We're gonna kind of use that as my like main example for all of these points, um, just because that's something that I can relate to. But obviously it's easy if you figure out what task you wanna do, it's very easy to follow these steps after that. So something that can be an issue when you're trying to focus is that that big task that you have at hand and all those little ones that you have to get done during the day can become very overwhelming. So what I like to do when I have um, like a big project that I'm working on is I like to write everything down. I do like a brain dump um, and I just completely write everything that needs to be done for that project out onto a piece of paper. and or I type it out on my computer and I write down every little thing that kind of needs to be done. So I'll usually give myself about 10 minutes uninterrupted, no distractions, like no phone, anything like that. And I will sit down and I will just focus on, okay, what are all the things that need to be done? I get it all out of my mind because the worst thing is when you're working on a project and you're doing the first step and then you're like, oh, but I have to remember to do this and to do this and to do this. And then when you're working on it, it's like, you're constantly trying to think of what you need to do next and what are all these little things that you think of. So if you get it all onto the paper before you even start, you don't even have to think about those next steps. You just have them all written out so you're not gonna forget them. You can add as you go. If you do think of something, add it to that list. This could even be at the beginning of your workday if you wanna write down, okay, I need to get this done, this done, and this done before my meeting. What are all of the tasks and steps that need to be done for these pieces of work that I'm doing for my job. With that, my next point is to make small goals. With all of those points that you would just come up with, break them down if they can be. Um, I like to create a ton of small goals so that you have it into a list. You can um, order them however you want to get them completed. You can reorder them if you don't feel like reordering them. Just keep all of the, the tasks on. I like to order them just so that everything goes quicker because I'm not like searching through the list like every two seconds. I'm not like, okay, what's next? What do I need to do next? Like I just know exactly, okay, this is what has to get done first. Then I move on to the next step, step, step. And what I love about this, and I've mentioned it before, I love writing things down and I like breaking things down into smaller bits because I can cross off every single task that has been done and it's a lot more rewarding. You feel like you're getting things done. It gives you more motivation to keep focusing, to keep doing things because you're just constantly like checking things off of your list and you're seeing how much you're actually getting done. It's more motivating. So say you're cleaning your room, instead of just writing like, okay, on my list for today, I want to clean my room and I want to edit a video. Instead, it's like, okay, yeah, clean your room, but I want to organize my drawers. I need to wipe down my countertops. Those little things that it's just on your list, you just check them all off. It feels so good because cleaning your room is this big task, like especially if you're doing a full clean, 
it's a big task and just doing it all and then crossing off that one thing I just feel like it's a lot easier to miss things and it's also just like it's a lot nicer when you can just cross things off as you go because that big task yes it's rewarding when it's all done but it's like to keep you motivated to keep going seeing all of those things checked off and then it's like you're on your last one feels really really good so the whole lesson of this point is to simplify your tasks break down bigger tasks into a smaller task list and then it will help with your workflow to get things done um, in like an orderly manner instead of like a scrambled confused manner where you're just trying to figure out okay yeah i have to do this report but it this and this and this and this need to be in it if you organize it you're able to cross those things off you're not going to miss anything and it's just going to feel a lot better and lastly my favorite technique this is what helped me so much to um, focus in school when I was studying and also with work, with YouTube, with all of that. I love this tip and this is to set timers. So what I like to do for me, I, I find that I work the best in hour chunks, if not an hour, 45 minutes. So what I'll do is I will set a timer for an hour and I will work, no distractions. I put my phone away. I turn off all my iMessage on my on my laptop. I don't look at social media. I just work on the task at hand for a straight hour. And then I will reward myself at the end with a half an hour break, um, sometimes even an hour for lunch. And rewarding yourself at the end of that time will help you to keep going because you know that there's something to look forward to at the end. So it's not like that daunting, like all day work day where it's like, okay, my work day starts at nine and ends at five. So I have to work that whole time other than lunch. No, like give yourself segments of productivity time. So an hour or even like 20 minutes, you can do 20 minutes, five minute break. If that works better for you. That's what I used to do when I would study. Um, I find with work, I like an hour better just because I can get more done. You can split up your day. I always end up getting way more work done if I set up my specific work times and I set them to notice, like set like a no distraction time than if I was to just say, okay, I'm gonna work from nine to five. And then I find I get distracted more easily and I'm just like on my phone or I'll be like, oh, I need a snack. And then I like, I can't get anything done. So when I have those no interruption times, I get so much done. And when I'm in these focus times, I like to turn on music. Um, sometimes when I'm editing, I just get really in the zone, put headphones on so that nothing else is distracting me. Um, I find that like relaxing music is really, really nice for when I'm editing. Um, even like white noise or classical music is really good for like studying. So I like to put those on to help me focus in those focus times. So it just like gets you in that zone. And once I'm in that, I'm just like, I. I'm like so zoned in on what I'm supposed to do and I get a lot more done that way. But that is it for today's video. I have a ton more focus tips. Those are just three of my favorites. Um, if you guys want more videos like this or if you have any suggestions, then definitely let me know down below. I love you all so, so much and I'll see you in the next one.